Hey, what's up guys? My name is Lee. I'd like to welcome you back to this video series where we're going to continue in unwrapping the rest of our model. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So in the last video, we had unwrapped the vast majority of this mesh. We have a few pieces here that we need to deal with. And uh, those are the buttons, the, uh, the dials here, and this main uh, sort of plastic type. Um, piece as well as the uh, gold section uh, here. So, with that being said, let's uh, jump straight into this. Now, because this piece and this piece are exactly the same as this one and this one, what we can do is we can just unwrap one and then we can go ahead and uh, uh, duplicate these over. So, uh, let's go open, go and go ahead and open up our UV editor and let's have a go we have here. So, there are two things. Or two two different ways in which we can uh, or well I should say there's two different methods we're going to use here to unwrap this. Method number one is for this top piece, and um, for that what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select this. So let's go ahead and select this, and we can go ahead and choose planar and uh, make sure we have this normalized off and choose Y. So once we've done that, let's just zoom out and let's. Let's just move this over to one side for now and go to tools, relax, and uh, relax by angles. Okay, so that should uh, deal with this. It's pretty good. Now, the second piece is going to be this one. We can do exactly the same here. So let's just go ahead and choose a planar, Y, tools, relax, and let's go ahead and choose by polygon angles. And then again, let's go ahead and move this off to the side. Okay, let's go ahead and move this over here. Now these pieces, um, we have to deal with it slightly different because if uh, if we look at our high poly mesh, we have to have these, um, I guess these grooves in here. And if we simply just go ahead and use a planar map and then we go ahead and uh, relax these by the polygon edges, we will get a consistent, um, UV unwrap. Uh, the problem is, is that the when it comes to baking this, we're going to get some issues where the where the actual normal data is going to be slightly skewed. So to deal with that, all we're going to do is go ahead and choose the cylindrical map. Okay, and uh, let's have a look. Let's go ahead and choose fit, and you can see that we get a pretty good fit. So let's go ahead and uh, select this. And let's go ahead and choose tools, relax, and we can probably go by polygon edges. And you can see that we're going to get this flipping effect. So that tells me that this is inverted. So let's just undo this tools and let's go ahead and choose select, select inverted. Yep. So we can see that this is the in is incorrect. So let's go to tools and let's go ahead and choose flip vertical. And then let's go to tools, relax and do something like this. Now, you can see at this point that this is not straight. So all we need to do is we need to just go ahead and select all these pieces like so. And let's just deselect these ones. And let's go ahead and change this to something like this. And then let's go ahead and select this piece and this piece. And let's go ahead and click and hold and go ahead and select this to that and what that does is that's just going ahead and straighten this out for us so basically what we need to do is we need to go ahead and do the same thing here so let's go ahead and uh, do this and this is uh, again most likely going to be inverted so let's go ahead and select this and move this over and we can see here that actually in this one we have a, a slight issue in that we have this polygon here so let's have a look what's going on here my suspicion is okay so we have this uh we have this piece here so all we're gonna do with this is uh, break this okay and just go to and choose planar and that will fix that okay so we select this and there we go now with these ones again all we're gonna do is uh, double click here and double click here and do something like this and then select all these 
and uh, do this. Now, what we can do at this point is uh, convert this to an well poly, and uh, we can have a look at uh, this uh, inner polygon. So let me go this one here, and we can just delete that. We we actually don't need that um, detail in there. So let's just go ahead and add our UV map back on top. And I'm just going to go ahead and set this back to this camera map here, just just so when we're working side. So let's go ahead and select this piece. So I believe that all these um, should be done. Two, three, and four. So if we go over here, you can see that. Yep, they're all done pretty good. So all we need to do here is take these pieces, and I'm actually going to take everything, and I'm just going to scale this all the way down. And again, I'm not really too interested in the overall scale of this so far. Uh, we just want to get this roughly into our position and we can deal with the uh, scaling issues later. So let's just place this just outside. So that's what we can do is uh, this one. And all I'm going to do here is just do exactly the same thing as what we just did before. Now, if I have a look here, is there an inner section to this? Um, Maybe there is. Let's uh, convert this to an s poly and let's take this and uh, let's go ahead and choose move and let's just move this out for a moment. Nope. Okay. So, on that UVW, just making sure that there is um, no polygon data there. Okay. All right. So, take this one and uh, let's go ahead and flatten this take this tools relax that's why polygon angles that fixes that and let's take this one and uh, let's quickly do this one okay so it does look as if there's some data let's see Okay, so in this case, it's not, it's not the back side. That's okay. Just uh, We'll just break this and delete it in a moment. So uh, let's, actually, let's do that now. Let's convert this one as well, poly. And let's go ahead and delete this. And go ahead and add our unwrap back on top. Okay. Now what we can do is uh, go back over to this. And let's go to select and select inverted. Okay, so this is inverted. So let's go to tools and do something like this and let's go tools relax and let's just go ahead and relax this to looks if it's pretty good so we can just go ahead and take this and scale this all the way down so let's go ahead and move this over here and do something like this now what we can do now at this point is convert this to an Edgewood Poly and we can go ahead and take the, these pieces and we can go ahead and clone these over. So something like this. And I'm just going to slightly move this out of position. Actually, let's undo that. Let's move this into position and then let's go ahead and choose invert and let's just go ahead and deselect everything with the exception of uh, this piece right here and we can delete that and we can do the same thing over here so let's select these two and uh, move this over here and let's move this into position again invert everything deselect everything There we go, and then we can delete that. And it looks like we accidentally deleted uh, the, the the bottom the bottom piece here at the. So let's just go ahead and fix that. Let's go ahead and take these. And just cloning those back into position, and let's delete that one. Okay. So let's go ahead and fix that. Now, 
So we have this dial, this dial, this dial, and this dial completed. The next thing to deal with is uh, the buttons. Now again, as the buttons repeat, what we can do is just unwrap one, and then we can go ahead and uh, just duplicate all these. So let's unwrap the uh, mesh again. Let's go ahead and select one. And let's go to mapping, flatten mapping, and press OK. And that's going to bring this inside here for us. And uh, that's OK. And all we have to do is go ahead and uh, start to stitch these together. So let's take this. Let's go to stitch selected. OK, that's, that's not what we want. OK, let's try this one. Okay, and maybe this one stitch selected. So that places all these uh, into the main position and the rest is just going to be uh, welding these additional pieces. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and choose Target Weld and just start Target Welding some of these pieces together. And then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and do this for uh, each of these uh, corner pieces. So let's go ahead and do that. Stitch selected and stitch this selection. And uh, yeah, we can probably stitch this one together. And then we can go ahead and move this back into position like so. And then go ahead and choose the target weld here. All right, there we go. We're almost uh, finished there, I think. Okay, so we need to do the same over here. So let's go ahead and choose stitch selected and stitch selected and I probably think we need to do this one and this one maybe this one nope okay so let's go ahead and choose target weld and let's start target welding these pieces so let's do this and this And this piece, okay. Oops, looks like we missed this. And let's see, where does this piece belong? I probably think, yep, yeah, over here. So let's go ahead and stitch this, and it's probably a piece here. Let's see. Okay, see so ya. Yeah. And let's go ahead and choose target weld. And move this. Now, in this um, piece of geometry, I'm not really too bothered if there's a, some stretching here because this is actually just going to be one color. So um, that's okay. So I'm just going to scale this down. And uh, what we can do from here is I can take this and I can, oops. I can convert this into a poly and I can take this one and delete it and take this and move this into position. So it's about the proximate position here. And then I can take this one and delete this and again do the same thing over here. And it looks like these have no smoothing on here. So let's go and set these out to one. And that's uh, fix those. So what we do now is go to unwrap UVW. And we can just select these. And I'm going to move these out. So one, 
and two. And again, we can go ahead in the end and uh, start to fix the location. Okay, so we need to do the same thing here for these buttons. So uh, yeah, let's keep going. So let's go to mapping, flatten mapping and press OK. And uh, we're going to do exactly the same thing here as what we just did with the other button. And then the last thing we have is that outer plastic piece. So let's uh, try and finish this quite quickly. So let's go ahead and choose stitch selected and stitch selected. And we'll just probably one here, stitch selected. And maybe one, nope, one here, stitch selected, yep. Yeah. And then we can go ahead and uh, grow this. Let's move this out of the way. And let's see what this is connecting to. So, let's go ahead and take this one piece and go ahead and choose stitch selected. Okay, so it looks like it is connecting over here. And there's probably one right here, so let's go ahead and uh, do that. Stitch selected and stitch selected. And we have these uh, random pieces here that we can also go ahead and fix. So, stitch this, stitch this, and let's uh, keep going. So let's start to tag it well some of these and to clean this up a little. So let's see, this probably needs to go here, and it looks like this needs to go like so. All right, and let's go ahead and clean this one up. All right, and let's see, does, where does this go? Okay, so maybe there's a piece here that should be here. Actually, it's this one, so that's okay. Let's go ahead and choose uh, Stitch Selected. Let's go ahead and dealt with that. And I believe, yep, there's a few more, so that's okay. We are almost finished here. So let's see where these pieces go. Okay, so these go over here. So let's stitch this. And let's clean these up. And we can clean this side up. So let's tag it weld all of this. And I believe there's one more, or two more pieces. Okay, let's see where they go. Okay, this one here, and this one here. All right, so stitch selected, and stitch selected. And let's go ahead and uh, finalize this piece of geometry. There's a piece of uh, UV wrapping here. And maybe it looks like there's a piece that goes here. Let's see. No. Okay. That's okay. All right. So that's that button. And what we can do is we can go ahead and scale this down a little. And I'm going to place this in between here for now. And here's what I'm going to do. Again, I'm going to convert this to a poly. And I'm going to start deleting these one by one and moving these over so let's do one two three 
three. Let's do these both at the same time. Four and five. Again, it looks like these uh, wasn't smooth. So let's go ahead and set this to one. And that's uh, gone ahead and dealt with that. Let's just go ahead and take these in. It looks like we can push these in a little bit. And as we're not going to be baking uh, the buttons, um, because they're so low poly anyway, it doesn't really matter their position. Okay, so the last thing to do is uh, to deal with this outer edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stop the video here. And in the next video, we're going to uh, finish and wrap up the entirety of this uh, unwrapping process. We will finish the uh, the unwrapping and then we'll go ahead and pack this all into one UV texture and get it ready for texturing. So, <clears throat> and so we get it ready for baking. So until then, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.